Who are you going to vote for today? More than likely Trump again. Why? I don't know. He's hitting on a lot of measures that I'm kind of like concerned about. You okay, know? Like what? Tell me what. Well, the black community, I am concerned about us. Being able to get employment, education for black people is very serious and critical here in Los Angeles. Issues would be illegal immigration. And I believe that that's really a big problem here in Los Angeles, especially for, you know, working class people who are trying to survive and live here. We've been maintaining and trying to survive here and then we can't get jobs. Not saying that I don't want people to be able to come here to this country and be able to, you know, get a new life. But what about the people that are here? It doesn't concern you that Trump lies about everything? He lies, but what politician doesn't? You know, Trump doesn't like Black Lives Matter. Trump, Trump loves the cops. He thinks people shouldn't be protesting against the police. He doesn't believe there's any racism in America. Well, I believe there is racism, and we have good cops and we have bad cops. I don't have a problem with police officers. Many inner city black people do. I don't. You know, and there's not all racism in there. Like any group of people, you have good, you have bad. So, I mean, we just have to weed out the bad officers, and that's just it. That's just the way I feel. I feel like we're being smothered here and starved out of California. And Trump is going to change that? Trump is not going to change it, but I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon with people who's been smothering my people out. You're looking at two evils, if, if you want to put it that way. So which one do we choose? We choose what is in our best interest. We are allowing our hatred for President Trump to overwhelm our better interests. Our better interest is to let this continue as it is and let us get our gains. Well, that's how we got our civil rights stuff. We got them incrementally. We didn't get them once. The whole world was in our side with George Floyd. The whole world. They came to us. And then what happened? We turned on each other. We started looting, burning, robbing. We became ugly, vulgar, nasty, violent. Now, nobody likes us. We don't even like each other. Nobody likes us. President Trump, President, whether you like him or not, this man was not prepared to be no president. But this man has grown into the presidency. I never told you I like Trump. You're assuming that. What I said was, I'm picking out things that are to his advantage.